A new report today again highlights what the authors say is the problem of cheap booze. People need to be aware that what we're talking about here is a drug. It's addictive. Uh, and at the moment, alcohol is being sold and marketed like any other product, like a loaf of bread and a tin of beans. The theme for Alcohol Awareness Week is it's time to talk about drinking. But we have learned of a shocking and extreme length that some people are going to get a drink. I've come to the RVI in Newcastle, where they've worked hard to combat another problem being experienced by hospitals across the region. It's time to talk about drinking hospital hand gel. The problem is, to kill the bugs, the World Health Organization says hand gels have to have between 60 and 80 percent alcohol. It's, it's, it's quite shocking. They would taste pretty foul. Patients um, must be desperate for alcohol to, to actually drink the alcohol hand gel. Here, like many hospitals, the balance has to be struck between the risks of some people drinking the hand rub and its crucial role in controlling infection. In areas where we would consider high-risk patients, we actually don't have alcohol gel at the bedside. It's actually located on staff uniforms. In addition, the, the wall-mounted dispensers that we have here, they're, um, they're lockable and reports too from medical staff and other hospitals about the hand gel. At South Tees, a staff member told me patients in a day unit were drinking it. Another said one patient drank the hand gel to the point that we would collect it all in when we knew he was coming to hospital. And the same in North Cumbria, where staff say they knew a patient was drinking it, so it was removed when he came in. But the winter brings in an increase in infections. So while hand gel is dangerous to consume, how safe is it to remove it? You would definitely increase the risk of infections. If we didn't have the hand gels there, um, we would run the risk of having more closures of wards and more, more difficulties with, with organisms such as norovirus. So it's a fine balance in protecting the health of patients, but it's made more difficult when this weapon, in their war against hospital infection, is being drunk. Sharon Barber, BBC Look North.